today is the day. So I kind of tricked you guys because Wesley, my sweet Wesley, is coming home today, December 10th, which is Flynn's birthday. So you guys already saw Flynn's birthday video, but I wanted to make sure that his birthday was all about him and it was a special day just for him. So that's why that video is separate from this video. And today, which is Flynn's birthday, we're trying very hard to just make it a very special Flynn day. Even though it's very exciting that Wesley is coming home. So we unexpectedly got a call that Wesley was ready. I thought he was ready. I've been saying for like a week, like I think Wesley's ready to come home. So Maisie is still at the hospital. She's not quite ready yet. Wesley's at the hospital too. I have to go get him right now. But I wanted to show you the footage of yesterday when I found out that Wesley might be coming home today. So I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But I just found out, like I just talked to the hospital. They said he's officially ready to come home today. So it is happening and I'm freaking out and I'm every emotion. So here's the footage of me finding out that Wesley's coming home. Oh. My God, okay, I just got a phone call. My heart is pounding, I'm shaking. I'm in between crying and screaming. Okay, so I just got a call from the NICU and I picked up and they're like, it's the NICU. And I was like, they said, everything's fine, but Wesley's doing really well. We've taken out his feeding tube and we're gonna see how he does today. And if he does really well the next 24 hours, he's gonna come home. <laughs> I am in like I'm in shock. I feel like that's not true because they've just been saying a couple more weeks, a couple more weeks, and now all of a sudden it could be tomorrow. Like he could be coming home tomorrow. And I don't know, he might not. He might not be able to handle it. There might be setbacks. Like the NICU is so unpredictable that I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but I my heart is pounding. Tomorrow's Flynn's birthday. Maisie's still there because Maisie's um she's still working on learning how to eat, so it's gonna be a little bit longer before Maisie can come home. But Wesley could be coming home tomorrow or the next day. Oh, I have so much to do. The room is a mess like I have to like I'm freaking out okay so we're going to the hospital in like an hour I just I can't even think I feel like I don't want to get my hopes up I'm like just pretending it's not true because I can't handle any more disappointment so I'm just pretending that it's not gonna happen that way if it doesn't happen I won't be disappointed because I just need to like I just need to get through the day okay I literally am in shock I cried when I hung up the phone I like sobbed at the idea of seeing my baby without tubes on his face <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, and also I'm not excited because it might not happen. Okay, I got switched to do. Okay, love you, bye. Okay, <laughs> I'm home from the hospital. I have a boppy on my bed. I could cry because <laughs> I'm gonna be breastfeeding my son tomorrow maybe on this bed. And we made the twin bassinet, the twin bassinet. And that's gonna be by my side of the bed. We move the rocking chair back in here. I'm still trying not to get my hopes up, but it seems like it's gonna happen. I'm really excited. Okay, so I'm gonna call my mom. My mom doesn't know. I just went and saw the babies. Wesley's doing really great. He breastfed from me. He bottle fed while we were there. He's strong. He's looking good. His feeding tube was out, and I saw him without a feeding tube. And he did his car seat test. I'm coming! So I was gonna call my mom right now, but Flynn needs me, so we're gonna go make a cake. I'll call my mom after. So now it is the next day, December 10th in the morning, and I am gonna go get Wesley. Um, I haven't been able to be at the hospital all morning because it's Flynn's birthday and I wanted to make sure we had a morning with him. It's still the morning, but I'm like, I gotta get to my baby, so I'm gonna go get Wesley. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't believe it. I'm literally every emotion. I am so excited. I cried so much finding out he was coming home. I cried when I saw his face without the tubes. I'm gonna go get him and bring him home and my life is about to be so different because I'm going to be now at home with a new baby and a toddler and adjusting to that life of like bringing a baby home with a toddler and becoming a parent of more than one child. I was already a parent of one child, but not in the same household. Um, I'm also still going to be a NICU mama because Maisie's gonna be in the NICU for a while. So trying to balance being a NICU parent at the hospital and being home with my newborn and being home with my toddler and making sure all my kids feel loved and are taken care of at the same time is going to be quite the juggling act. But I'm gonna try my best and um, just make sure these babies are all taken care of and oh my god, I'm freaking out. I can't believe Wesley's coming home. This is so exciting. So I guess my babies just really like birthday parties. They like, they knew because they were born on my niece Bailey's birthday and Wes is like, I'm coming home on my brother's birthday and now Maisie, I'm like, whose birthday is next? Because Maisie needs to come home as soon as possible. So whose birthday of you guys out there? Is your birthday tomorrow? Can you just like send out good juju and good vibes to Maisie? Be like, hey, it's my birthday, girl. We come home on birthday, so like come home. You know what I mean? Because these kids like birthdays, apparently. I need to pump. Oh my gosh, my boobs hurt. I'm so excited. Okay, goodbye.
outfit that's a little too small because you're getting so big. I'm gonna pick him up for the first time without any cords on him. <laughs> Hi, you're not connected to any machines. Let's go home. Let's go home. We did it. We brought Wesley home. He's here. He's home. I can't believe it. It was so weird leaving Maisie there and just bringing Wesley home. I can't wait for Maisie to come home. Oh God, I hope it's soon. But Wesley's home. Wesley. This is your brother Wesley. What do you think? Yeah. Isn't he cute? Yeah. He's so tiny. Yeah. And we have a really big job for you. What is it? You're gonna have to teach him so many things. Can you teach him about trucks? Yeah. Can you teach him about cake? Can you teach him about colors, and numbers, and books, and toys? So he loves you. <gasps> He loves you. He's your brother. He's your brother and he loves Aww, you. Oh, that was so good. good. He loved that. He loved it. Look at his tiny hand. See his hand? See his tiny hand? hand? You can touch yeah. it. Yeah. Isn't that a cute little hand? Yeah. Isn't he so cute? Mm -hmm. Do you want to help me hold him a little? Oh, you should show him your skid steer. He'd love that. <gasps> look. Let's take a look. He loves it, Flynn. I kind of like he's sleeping. But he always sleeps when he's happy. So that oh. means he's happy. It means he loves the skid steer. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah? What's that, Wesley? Mm. Is that something? Fine, I got you a present. <gasps> I said I got you a present for where, your birthday. Where is it? It's downstairs. it's downstairs. He said first we have to take a picture together and then we're going to go downstairs and see your present from Wesley. Now this <laughs> is from so Wesley, okay? It's coming. Keep your eyes closed. Oh, it's almost Wesley so says, Happy birthday, Flynn! Whoa. Whoa! It's a monster truck! Do you like it? Hey, we bought that, Daddy! Yeah! <laughs> Did you know he was getting it? Oh, I'm on it. <laughs> you can ride this one! Yeah! Yeah! Here, I'll hold your skid steer. Whoa! <laughs> what do you say to Wesley? Thank you, Wesley. There we <laughs> Such go. Gentle. Oh, okay. So I'm at the hospital and I just left because I have obviously I'm so happy Wesley's home. It's so amazing that he's home and he's doing great today. He's been eating all his food and all his bottles and just great. He's been so happy being hugged by, he's only allowed to have uh, grandparents hold him today. No one else was allowed to hold him um, except for me and Eric and grandparents. And he's just kind of alone in our bedroom with one person at a time in a quiet environment while everyone else is like having chaos and the birthday party downstairs. Also, just so you guys know, everyone who came to Flynn's birthday, my family, all had to be quarantined before coming over. So it was safe. And like I said, only people who held him were grandparents and us. But he's doing great. And I'm so proud of him. And I'm so grateful. And I'm so happy he's home. But man, it sucks having Maisie still here. I just went into her room in this room that we've lived in for the last five weeks. I know all I do is cry. And I'm sorry, but this just is hard. And this room that I've basically lived in the last five weeks with her and her brother I walked in and she was in there alone and I know most Nikki babies are in there alone but like it was just hard to see her there without her brother she's not very I mean 
she's closer than she was to coming home. It's gonna be a minute before she's home. It'll be a while. It was just hard to see her and then like to leave her. I don't know why I felt a little bit more okay leaving when it was her and Wesley because like I knew they had each other. I don't know. I just felt it was still sucked leaving them every single time. But to leave Maisie alone tonight was just so hard. But I have to go home because I need to go be with Wesley. It's his first night in a new place. Just feeling so torn. I cannot explain this feeling. It's like horrible. <laughs> these new baby twins and they both need me in their different places it's awful oh my god oh, i'm so happy wesley's home it's been so wonderful having him there and having him not connected to cables and cords and just seeing him in my house in my room but then to come back here and to be smacked in the face with the reality that Maisie's still there and she's still she still has all those cables and cords and feeding tube and she's not ready to come home yet it was just really it's just hard but she's in great hands the nurses are amazing and they're taking really good care of her while I go home to be with Wesley and we're just gonna have to figure out like how Eric and I just I think are not gonna see each other very much until she's home because like I just one of us has to be with Maisie and one of us has to be with Wesley and we're just gonna have to switch off it's just really hard I've only ever been with them together. That was really difficult to leave her just now. So I'm gonna go check on Wesley and feed him and pump and then come back. Oh God, I hope Maisie can come home soon. I hope she just like surprises us and like is amazing tomorrow. And just like, I just want them to call me in the morning and say she can come home, even though I know it's not gonna happen. I know it'll probably be a week or two. So this is a very specific request, but twin NICU parents, if there is a twin NICU parent watching and your babies came home at different times. How did you do this? <laughs> Any advice would be greatly appreciated because this is like this NICU experience just when I think it can't get harder it does. Even on a day that's so wonderful like today where Wesley gets to come home and it's so happy and it's so wonderful it's still like the hardest day I've had just because my twins have to be separated and my heart is like br just completely pulled in different directions. Oh this is really hard so I'm really happy and grateful that Wesley's home and I'm excited to go see him but oh, this is so hard it's temporary she'll be home soon what a day <sighs> well I survived the first night it is <laughs> he was just taking a little nap he has a bassinet next to me I was waking him up as I was putting on my makeup so I put him in a dock -a -tot. So I was bassinet my pumping station and Dr. Tot and my boppy. I am surrounded. And um, it's time for him to have his next bottle. You gotta wake up, little guy. He did great. It's amazing how uh, different it is having a baby after you've had a baby at the NICU and then having a baby at home. While it's hard and I didn't sleep, um, Eric took him this morning for an hour and a half so that I could have a little nap. So I didn't sleep and it was hard, but like, oh my God. So great, cause he wasn't attached to any cords or cables. We we're in the comfort of our own home. It's just hard going back and forth to the hospital, obviously. So I'm gonna feed him. Then I'm gonna go back to the hospital again for Miss Maisie. First you need to eat. You want, a, you want a little bottle? But he did really well last night. Uh, he was super cute. And I think it was like overwhelming for him for a minute. Last night there was a moment where I was like, I think he's overwhelmed because this is all so different than what he, he's known for five weeks. You know, he's only known that one tiny little room at the hospital and those sounds and those people and those smells. And so there's one point where I was holding him and he just, he been held for it because like I didn't want to put him down <laughs> and at one point I was like I think you just probably want to be left alone and laid him down in the bassinet and then he like calmed down so it's just so different from like with Flynn I just held Flynn 24 7 but with these little twinsies they're used to like being left alone in their little isolates for a lot of the day even when we were there a lot of times we weren't allowed to hold them because they wanted them to lay in there and get their rest that was weird for me to be like oh I have to put my baby down <laughs> He's doing really good, so we're just gonna have some lunch and um, I'm gonna go back to the hospital, but we survived. Wesley's first night home, it was such a surprise and so exciting that he was able to come home. I'm so grateful and I'm so grateful that he's doing so well. So hopefully Maisie's not far behind. So just a week or two, that's gonna be really hard going back and forth to the hospital and my heart will break every time I have to leave Maisie and every time I have to leave Wesley, um, but we'll make it work. So thanks for watching and thanks for all your love and support as we've been trying to get these babies healthy and home. We're halfway there. Wesley's home, we just gotta get the other half home. So yeah. I love you guys and I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow. All right.